If like me, you've been eagerly anticipating and watching the real estate market since the COVID outbreak in America, then this video comes as good news. There are some really good indicators that the housing market is rebounding from COVID and maybe even faster than everyone anticipated. When it comes to wholesaling and flipping, if you've been sitting on the sidelines and waiting to get into the game, or if you're already in the game and you just want some good solid validation that you're making a good move, then this video is for you. Using the most recent market data, get ready to learn six reasons why you should wholesale and flip real estate in 2020, coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. If you've been following my channel, you know I've been releasing a lot of videos about how COVID is impacting real estate investing and especially wholesaling and flipping as well as the adjustments I'm making in my real estate business. In fact, this is the 17th video I've released specifically about COVID. Now, the reason why I've covered this topic so extensively is because I'm a big believer in adapting quickly to market changes in order to stay relevant and in order to continue making money in real estate. And all along, I've been holding the position that despite the astronomical negative impact on the economy, the housing market won't experience the same devastation, and it's looking like the indicators are showing that to be true. And I believe now more than ever is a good time to make money in real estate specifically wholesaling and flipping. My honest opinion is any time is a good time to wholesale and flip houses. As long as people live in houses, there is an opportunity for you and me to make money wholesaling and flipping. But on this video, using current market data, I wanna to prove to you why right now in 2020 and 2021 for that matter, is the best time to wholesale and flip houses. Despite COVID, despite the highest rate of unemployment since the Great Depression and predictions of unemployment reaching 40 million as businesses slowly reopen. Despite all of that, I wanna share with you six reasons why wholesaling and flipping is a good move. Reason number one why you should wholesale and flip houses in 2020 is because buyers don't seem to care about coronavirus. Normally the way real estate works is everyone buys in the spring, moves in the summer, and then settles down for school in the fall. Well, COVID happened right when the prime real estate buying season was supposed to happen, which sent listings and home sales spiraling to a screeching halt in March. Now, as of this recording, at the end of May, according to Zillow, pending sales are up 50% from May over April, and this is consistent with the Mortgage Bankers Association report that home buyer purchase applications are up 54% in May from April. Now think about this. Throughout the month of May, most states were still under lockdown orders, and people didn't care and were back out buying houses. People want to buy houses and they aren't letting COVID stop them. Now, as a wholesaler and a flipper, this gives me confidence that there are buyers for my deals. Reason number two why wholesaling and flipping is a smart move right now in 2020, despite COVID, is home values are still going up. Even with COVID in April, home values grew 4.3%. Now, COVID hasn't slowed it down. It was the fastest in Phoenix at 8.9%, Seattle 7%, Charlotte 6.2%, and it was the slowest in Chicago at 1%, New York at 1.2%, and Baltimore at 1.2%. That means as a wholesaler or a flipper, if I get a contract today or if I buy a house today, I can wholesale it or flip it and it's going to hold its value. One of the biggest fears has been, if I buy a house now, will it be worth less in four to six months when I go to flip it? And if you're a wholesaler, the fear has been, will your cash buyers think the same thing? And that was for sure the worry with everyone in March when COVID first hit. Now I immediately implemented a 15 to 20% discount on my offers just in case real estate took a nosedive and in anticipation for market decline in values. But now the data is showing that COVID so far hasn't negatively impacted values. Now I'll be watching this trend carefully in coming months. And if it continues to hold steady, I'll be loosening up my COVID discount when making offers. Reason number three why wholesaling and flipping is a good idea in 2020 despite COVID, and this is a big one, and that is continued low inventory. Now, even though for sale listings are up 12.5% in May compared to April, that is still about 20% more than 
20% below last year's levels and last year's levels were low. Now, low inventory means that there are not very many available houses for sale and low supply creates high demand and high demand means homes sell quickly and for top dollar. As a wholesaler and a flipper, if you can get good at finding deals, you can move them quickly and you can make good money. Now the key is being able to find good deals. Now I'm gonna talk about this more at the end of this video, so keep watching. But to help you find good deals, be sure to get my award-winning deal finding software called Data Cruncher. Now this tool instantly finds underpriced homes for sale in any zip code at the push of a button. And I'll give you an unrestricted login for free. Just go to mydatacruncher.com. The fourth reason why you should wholesale and flip in 2020, despite COVID, is there is a demand for renovated homes. Now this is due to a shortage in new construction. In April, new construction permits were down 20% and new construction starts were down 30%. If that continues, then in the near future, we'll see less new homes on the market, which again, increases demand, but a lack of new construction homes is good news for fix and flippers and for wholesalers who wholesale to fix and flippers because the next best thing to buying a new home is buying a newly renovated home. Now, I believe fix and flippers are gonna make more money than ever on their flips in the next 12 months or so. The fifth reason why you should wholesale and flip in 2020 despite COVID is because of the all-time low interest rates. In an effort to stimulate demand, the Federal Reserve purchased half a trillion dollars of mortgage-backed securities, and it worked. The average U.S. rate for 30-year fixed mortgage dropped to 3.14%, which is the lowest ever recorded, according to Freddie Mac, and they've been tracking interest rates for over 50 years. Now, make no mistake, with interest rates at the lowest they've ever been, buyers are going to be eager to buy homes, which means as a wholesaler and a flipper, you will get a premium for your deals. And reason number six why you should wholesale and flip in 2020 despite COVID is because I don't believe the housing market is going to get slammed with foreclosures. Now this is due in part to the reasons I've previously stated, as well as the mortgage forbearance offered as part of the CARES Act, which gives relief to people who have lost their jobs due to COVID. But the real reason I believe why we won't see foreclosures is because people have really strong equity in their homes. These stats are just mind boggling to me. According to CoreLogic, Americans are sitting on tremendous equity. 58.7% of all homes in America have at least 60% equity. 42% of all homes are free and clear, and the average equity of homes with mortgages is 177,000. Now that means if someone loses their job and they can't pay their mortgage, they will sell their home to recover their equity instead of letting it go to foreclosure. And that means if the market doesn't get flooded with foreclosures, we won't see a decline in home values, which means again, wholesalers and flippers can move their deals quickly and for top dollar. Now, I did a video all about how I believe COVID is not going to cause a wave of foreclosures, unlike the 2008 market crash. I'll put a link to that video in the description below and you can watch it later. When you combine low inventory, low interest rates, demand for renovated homes, home value still rising, no foreclosures, and people willing to go look at houses, make offers, and buy real estate right in the middle of COVID, that's telling me that all the stars are aligning for the housing market to weather COVID just fine. Now, could this be just a bounce back from the initial shock and awe of March? Maybe, but I think there are too many positive indicators for a decline or a crash to happen. Now, I'd love to know your opinion. Leave a comment and let me know if you think the real estate market market is going to continue strong in 2020 and 2021, or if you think it's going to take a hit and decline. But let's be real, it's not all sunshine and roses. There is a really big downside to the current housing market for real estate investors. You see, on one hand, selling your inventory is better than ever for all of the reasons I just shared, but whenever it's easy to sell, it's usually hard to buy. While low inventory is awesome for wholesalers and flippers to sell their deals, it also means that it's really difficult to acquire distressed properties at a discount. Now, dispositions is easy, acquisitions is hard. Now, this has been the case for some time, but I believe it will continue into the foreseeable future. This means you have to double down and really put in a lot of time, energy, and effort into acquisitions. That means you have to work harder than ever before to generate leads, and make offers in order to secure contracts on good deals. So I wanna encourage you to look at lead generation like deep sea fishing. 
If you've ever chartered a deep sea fishing trip, the guide's number one objective is to keep lines in the water because the more lines in the water, the more fish you'll catch. Now look at lead gen the same way. You need to go after as many different lead types as you can. In fact, I put together a report with over 67 different lead types to go after. If you like that report for free, just leave a comment and say, Jerry, you are a flipping genius. Please share your free report and I'll give you the download link. Now imagine going fishing with 67 lines in the water. You're sure to catch a fish and the same is true with catching deals. And one hot lead type right now that I've been putting extra effort on is absentee owners. An absentee owner is someone who owns a property, but it's not their personal residence. Now this usually means a buy and hold investor who's renting the property. Now the reason why I love this lead type is because with COVID, there's an increase in what are referred to as tired landlords. Now these are buy and hold investors that are burned out and ready to sell their non-performing or underperforming rental properties. And you know me, I like to approach everything in the business from an analytical point of view. The stats don't lie. Rental real estate is tough right now. Zillow reported that the annual rent growth slowed down by half a percentage point in April from March. Now, while that may not seem like a big deal, it's the largest monthly drop Zillow has seen in at least five years. In April, the typical monthly rent in the US was $1,594, up 2.9% from a year ago, which is good, but still the slowest annual growth pace recorded since December of 2017. In 33 of the 35 largest metros in the US, year over year rent growth slowed in April from March. Annual rent growth in April was the slowest in Baltimore at 0.4% year over year, New York 1.1%, Houston 1.3%, and San Jose 1.3%. So if you're in any of those markets, targeting tired landlords is a great strategy. Meanwhile, annual rent growth was fastest in April in Phoenix 7%, Seattle 4.7%, and Cincinnati 4.6%. But even in those markets, I'm seeing a lot of buy and hold investors selling while the market is up and demand is up. And in case you didn't know, absentee owners is one of over a dozen different lead types that comes included with my deal management system called Flipster. Now, if you've never heard of Flipster, it's a cloud-based, all-inclusive platform to organize, streamline, and automate all of the steps to wholesaling and flipping houses. And what's so cool is you can target absentee owners and even filter by equity. And many of them come included with phone numbers and the ones that don't, you can use the built-in tool to skip trace them and then text blast or send them ringless voicemail and so much more. To check it out and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. And to really help you go after tired landlords, watch this video series where I get on the phone and show you how to call and talk to buy and hold investors. Since they are investors and not private sellers, you need to follow a different approach with them. So watch that now. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is your number one resource for all things wholesaling and flipping. Do that now and I'll see you on the next video.